welcome. Thank you very much for joining me so we can go through the student guide and teacher's guide together, kind of give you a sense of the way Apologia approaches math and give you a sense of the uh, parental involvement, the teacher involvement. So what I'd like to do is go ahead and start with the student guide because it is so much thicker <laughs> than um, the teacher guide, actually. Right. When I first got it, I thought, okay, are these wrong here? Because this is so much thicker than this one. But what it does tell me is that they are starting to get the student a little bit more responsibility. This is uh, again, level two, exploring creation with mathematics. Here we have the table of contents. This consists of six units and 105 lessons. The units are all grouped and unit one, as far as I can tell, is a review and just kind of a refresher course. Page 16 to 82. You have a um, review of the numbers and patterns, numbers to a thousand, and your place value. Lesson two is the addition and subtraction with two digit numbers. So all of these lessons are, um, like I said, they're grouped together. Lesson three you have money and time. So this is more than likely a break in the monotony of, you know, the three digit long course <laughs> that they just got through doing. We come back to unit four, you've got more addition and subtraction, but this time it's going to be with three digit numbers. Unit five is measurement and data. And we go on to unit six, which is um, a little bit of geometry. All right, and next we have just a glance here. Uh, the book is going to contain icons, which are these little icons here, and each one represents uh, something in the book that the student will be given a heads up on. The uh, notebook is a skills practice. Watering can is an activity. Magnifying glass alerts for an important concept or vocabulary word. And the little seedlings appear before each lesson's practice page. We have chapter one, numbers and patterns. And then you can see the icons at the top. And here it shows the challenge or activity. Then we have a place value refresher, number word names, and we are still in um, the first unit and we're going over the even and odd numbers. Here is an example of a game. They do give you, you know, a list of what you'll need for the game before you do it. Here it's just colored pencils. And then you have some tasks that you're assigned here. I really am liking the layout of the uh, student book. It's not very busy and it seems to go over the concept, you know, until the child has, has mastered it. Um, at least for now, you know, <laughs> two days from now, he may not, but you know, at least for now, um, we're going over, you know, greater than, less than. This is chapter three, addition and subtraction up to 20. And I like how it tells you here uh, what your student is going to be learning, what your child is going to be learning. For this activity, they would just need subtraction flashcards with facts up to 10. And then here is the activity. What I really like so far is that it seems to be a game, activity, 
learn the skill and then practice. I also like how the program is set up uh, with word problems as well. So I like that there are different strategies, you know, that there are different strategies being taught. I guess that's why I said, you know, in one of my previous videos that this really reminded me of Singapore because they do show the student how to, how to think. Um, you have a, another activity and it says that you will need five slips of paper or post-it notes. Here are more word problems for them to practice. So now the book takes the student to uh, the two-digit subtraction with a number line. And here they are showing the method of using base 10 blocks for subtraction. And here is a uh, skills practice that I wanted to show you that I've seen quite a bit through the subtraction process is they have them show their work. And I, rule for one really like that they are having them show their work. And so here they're showing them the regrouping method. What to do with the one. Okay, and then after subtraction, you have the money chapter. And here are a couple of pages about the money chapter making a dollar and the different ways to get to the amount of a one dollar bill. And then they go over a time, an activity. They're going to go into unit four, addition and subtraction with three digit numbers. The other thing that I have noticed is at the beginning of each unit there is a devotional. They have the subtracting three-digit numbers. Here is what the addition of three-digit numbers looks like. And then you have measuring length with a different system. You also go over the 3D shapes, some symmetry and angles. And then it is my understanding that everyone loves when they end level two because there's a pizza party <laughs> brought to you by your homeschool teacher. Um, and actually it teaches them, you know, how to make it and what they will need to make their own pizza. And that's pretty cool. That's a pretty cool way to celebrate. And it shows everybody, you know, chipping in to make the pizza. And then at the very end, the student is given a certificate of completion, a congratulations for completing the Apologia Mathematics program. All right, now I'm gonna go over level two, exploring creation with mathematics, teaching guide, and answer key. And honestly, guys, this is not going to take that long. Um, I'm glad that I kind of saved this for last. If you are enjoying any of this video, I would really appreciate it if you hit the like button. That lets me know that um, the flip throughs <laughs> are going okay. And, uh, you know, it gives me a little bit of confidence to do some more flip throughs for you. I don't do flip throughs very often, so, you know, um, but anyway, yeah, if you'll hit that like button, I would appreciate and it. If you would care to subscribe, we would love to have you on this journey. When we open up the teacher's guide, we see that there is a week by week daily schedule and that there are four days in the week that you're going to be doing math, which is fabulous. Um, you know, and you always do you. If you want to do math five days a week or you want to do it two days a week, you do it however 
it works for you and your family. This is just the um, suggested schedule, but she does have it listed and she does give you, you know, what you could do on each day to make your life a little bit easier. But I am glad to see that they they narrowed it down to the four day school week. And it has 28 weeks. And then you have the skills practice answers. And now it's going to go over that number, cents, and place value. But I did want to let you know, uh, the games, they do not take any longer than, you know, about five minutes. If you want to play longer, that's fine. Um, if you just have a couple of minutes to play, they've given you that option. They know that... You know, not always do we have time to um, play play games, especially if we have little ones around or the baby's crying, you know, whatever the case may be. You know, that's kind of been factored in. But I did want to make sure that I mentioned that. All right, so now you're seeing the answer keys. Lesson 12 answer, lesson 13 answer, and this does have your notes on how to describe what your student will be doing. And let me just say that I believe that she is really focused on including the visual, the auditory, the tactile learner lessons and your notes. And at the very back, you have your recipe for your pizza dough to celebrate. Um, she's giving you the charts to go with the activities, the number matching cards, scan board for the dice, the two digit addition spinner, the subtraction spinner, spin to a dollar, Match the clocks activity. What kind of pet do you own? So she's given you the uh, activity sheets that go with the lesson. And then at the very end, you have the complete supply list. And this tells you what you will need for your math to make the games fun. A lot of and these you can find, you know, just at the house. Um, a stapler, construction paper, paper plates, Legos, dominoes, um, a timer, note cards, M&Ms, Oreo cookies. Okay, now it I'm hungry. <laughs> I really do appreciate it. Thank you so very much for watching today and until we meet again. Be good to each other. Bye-bye.